Is interest rates still going up? You'll want to stay on and watch. If you find the content of the video valuable, you'll want to hit subscribe and the bell notification so you don't miss the future one. I want to give you a quick, to the point update of what's happening right now. All the information I'm sharing with you is done by national economists, so that's what I'm bringing to you, okay? First of all, home sales are down, especially new homes. That's already been predicted. That's what's happening right now because the interest rates have basically deterred a lot of the buyers and have taken their purchasing power out so that a lot of buyers are now kind of sitting on the fence right now. Rates will continue to go up. We are not done yet. You think 7% is high, which is the highest in the last 12 years, but we're not done yet. It's predicted that rates are gonna continue to go up. However, the good news is the rapid increase is now not the case. Things are gonna start to slow down. The increase in interest rate is not gonna be what it's been, uh, you know, by 0.75, by a whole point, uh, each time the Fed uh, have their meetings and raise the rates, it's going to start to slow down. What does this mean to you? If you're not selling or buying, it doesn't impact you, right? As you know, in real estate, it's all about the long-term hold. If you are in the market and you're staying in, whether it's an investment property or the home that you're living in, for at least five years to 10 years, your appreciation is gonna average out and it's gonna continue to grow. We have had the last two and a half years of incredible, unprecedented, accelerated appreciation in home value. It was compressed due to the pandemic and the drop in interest rates that the growth in the last two and a half years in appreciation was something that would normally take seven to 10 years to appreciate. That has stopped, right? Now we're actually transitioning to what the normal real estate market would be. Homes take a while to go into escrow. Buyers take their time because there are more houses to choose from. They don't jump all over one property you know, as soon as the sign goes up because they're afraid that they might, they might not get the house at this incredible two and a half percent rate that's no longer around, right? That was not a normal market. So if you are talking to maybe those real estate agents or lenders that have started in their careers in 2000, uh, in 2020, that is not the normal market. We are now adjusting to the normal market. This is what it takes to put the house on the market to get it sold it takes a little while there are efforts that need to be put into it buyers come through during open houses or they come and look at the houses they don't make the decision like that because there are three or four other houses that they're going to look at right this is how real estate is typically done so don't be alarmed if you are selling, my best advice to you, and I'm having these conversations with all of my clients who are putting the house on the market, we have had to do some price improvement. We have had to adjust the price because the competition, other listings comparable to their homes are doing price adjustments. They're reducing the prices. So if you're planning to put your house on the market, please do not look at what your house might have sold two months ago. It does not apply. We need to be looking forward to where the market is declining. As I mentioned earlier, we need to be pricing in front of that and know that you had already picked up equity that you wouldn't have picked up in the last two years because of the pandemic. You're just not gonna be picking up at the same accelerated rate now that you're selling your house. We missed that window, right? So you need to be proactively looking at pricing it so that you don't have to be chasing the market and reducing it to catch the buyers who are shopping. I hope that makes sense to you. If you have questions about it, feel free to email me, kasama at kasamasells.com or send me a text, 707-567-1049. I'm more than happy to Zoom with you, talk to you more about it. Every situation is different. My goal 
when I work with all of my clients is for their house to sell, right? But the market is moving in the opposite direction than what it was doing so rapidly because of the rapid increase in interest rates that are now going to slow down. We are trying to get in front of it. So my job is to get your house sold if I'm representing you as a seller, but it's going to take a little bit of forecasting and it's going to take a little bit of detaching your emotion from what you think your house might be worth. And I hope that the data that I provide to you will give you some insight of where we need to be because nobody wants to put their house on the market and sit on it for three, four, five months and wonder why nobody's making an offer. Well, there is no offer when the price is not in sync with where the market is at. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. To learn more about how you might be able to overcome and work around the rising interest rates, you'll want to watch this video. Thanks for watching.